Kentucky Hemp Works again. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Hemp Home School. I missed you over the weekend, but we were pretty excited to get ready for this lesson because we got some cool stuff to share with you today. Uh, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about the hemp stalk. So last week, if you remember, we started at the roots, which are at the bottom of the plant. So now we're going to be kind of moving up the plant and, uh, and we'll talk about the stalks. And now these stalks are typically very strong and when you when you have a fiber crop the point of the plant is to grow very quickly very tall with very little branching so that you have strong long fibers throughout the whole stalk so i'm going to show you a little bit of stalk here um, these pieces these are all hemp stalks and you can see that we've chopped them up but this bark on the outside of the stalk this is where your fiber is going to be contained in the plant. So you can see on the inside of the fibers, it's very light, very pretty, um, kind of tan gold color almost. And that is the wood or the cellulose or what we call the herd of the plant. So I've got a little diagram here. Our amazing designer Alyssa put this together for us to use as a game when we set up tables but it's also a really good visual and um, can give you an idea of what the inside of a hemp stalk will look like. So if you look right here, this is that stalk, just like I was holding up here. This is a piece of stalk, and if you imagine you cut it out, you can see on the outside of the plant, there's the bark, that's where the fiber Inside, this central core, that's the herd from the stalk, and then you have this, uh, this core or the, this central hole that runs down the middle of the plant. So it's kind of similar to bamboo where if you got a really nice, good, straight piece and you cut it on both sides, you could actually look through that hole and see from one end to the other. So in a fiber crop, you want to have really skinny, skinny plants so that um, there's not a lot of branching and it's very easy to remove the fiber from the herd. So when we remove decortication, there are machines that will do that, but throughout history, decorticating was done by hand. So they would actually have equipment and machinery that would break these stalks and, and it would just break them and break them and break them into little pieces. And then they could actually rake out the fibers from there, separate the fiber from the wooden core, and then they could use the fiber for one thing and the core for another. So what um, typically people are using fiber and herd for these days, um, fiber is used to make clothing, like the shirt that you can use it to make composite materials, like um, the interiors of cars uh, the, that hard, sort of almost plastic interior parts. Um, and, and the herd can be used to make things like um, hempcrete, which is a hemp concrete type of product. Um, it's mixed with lime and water to make the concrete and it actually petrifies over time. So the, um, the cellulose in the wood will actually be trying to convert back to stone and then over time, that concrete will actually get harder and harder and harder. The herd on the, in, on the inside can also be used for um, plastic. So this, this herd or cellulose is basically where the plant is storing the sun's energy and then we can actually collect that energy in the form of this wood. We can burn it, we can create plastic with it, we can create building materials with it. And, um, and it's a, a great source of energy for humans. Um, one of the things that we use the herd for, um, we actually take little bitty pieces of herd and we mix those with some of the other things that we make and use the fire starters. So I'll let Ree show you our fire starter. She's got it going outside. So here we have our fire starter. It's made out of our hemp seed, a recycled wax, 
and the hemp stalk so we kind of just combine it together so we're not wasting any byproduct of the plant because it can be used for everything so here's just a little example of how they, well they work all right so homework assignments for today we got a little bit more fun for today um there are there are two links for you to check out one of them is uh, dr dave west's website and dr dave west is a researcher who's been studying hemp for many many years probably decades um he was one of the first to do hemp research studies in in the united states and his website is a great source of information so we've linked you to his uh, discussion on fiber wars so it talks about some of the different wars and how people use hemp fibers in some really amazing ways during the war. Um, there is a second link, which is the Great American Hempstone Project, and that's done by Les Stark from Pennsylvania. He's another hemp researcher who's got a ton of great information. Um, so if you guys are interested in kind of going down those rabbit holes, you can enjoy their websites and, and look for more of the work that they've done. Now, the third thing that we've got is a couple of worksheets for you. Um, we, the worksheet that we have is based on our, our game here. And uh, one of the worksheets is a fill in the blank. So um, either look up the answers, there's an answer key in there as well, if you're not sure about the answers. Um, but the other worksheet is actually um, a target. So what we did with this game was we created a fun way for people to learn while they were having fun at, at tables. Um, but you can actually print this target out at home. We laminated ours, um, but if you wanna get creative, you can use some, um, uh, some packing tape and tape over the paper so that it's shiny and that your nerf, nerf darts will stick. So basically what we do, try to get that target right in the core. Look at that, any of it over here. <laughs> so have fun, learn a lot, and we'll see you again tomorrow.